trial. Two important hearings now underway involving former President Trump. The judge setting a March 25th trial date in the hush money case in New York. Meanwhile, in Georgia, a hearing now underway to disqualify District Attorney Fonnie Willis from the case. Yeah, prosecutor Nathan Wade is being called to testify about his relationship with Willis. He's being questioned about when the relationship began. ABC's Rena Roy has more. Former President Donald Trump arriving at a New York City courthouse this morning for a hearing in the case over a hush money payment to a porn actress. There was no crime here at all. This is just a way of hurting me in the election because I'm leading by a lot. Trump wanted the case dismissed, arguing it's political, legally flawed, and messes with the 2024 election. But the judge this morning denying Trump's motion to dismiss and setting a trial date of March 25th, starting with jury selection. We'll just have to figure it out. I'll be here during the day and I'll be campaigning during the night. Trump pleaded not guilty to nearly three dozen counts of falsifying business records that accuse him of trying to hide from voters a relationship with Stormy Daniels and his attempt to buy her silence. All right. At the same time, in a different courtroom today in Atlanta, the Georgia prosecutor who has charged Trump with election interference facing misconduct accusations herself. Trump and several of his co-defendants want Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis to be removed from the case and their indictments dismissed. The district attorney is totally compromised. The case has to be dropped. Trump and several co-defendants accused her of benefiting financially from a romantic relationship with the prosecutor, Nathan Wade, who she hired for the case. I want to say because my marriage was irretrievably broken, I was free to have a relationship. Willis and her team have fought back against the claims. She could be forced to testify, but her team says the defendants are peddling gossip. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.